Hi Pisces, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your May 2020 tarot check for all Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And I just want to thank all of you who've been watching the channel, liked, commented, and subscribed. I really appreciate that and I'm having fun co-creating with you, so let's keep going. If you're new to my channel, I would love to have you as a subscriber and hit the bell if you want to be notified when new videos are posted which is about every week. However, last week I posted a seasonal tarot check for the months of May, June, July, and August. So you might want to check that out if you haven't for each individual sign. So Pisces has their own reading. And I did that in part because the weekly readings were fairly hideous in terms of the energy. It was all over the place. And I just wanted to see what was going to come towards people as we get into the summer months. And it looks pretty good. So here we go. This is for May 2024 Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for Pisces here. Here we go. What's going on for Pisces? May 2020. Your current position is the High Priestess and the immediate influence is the Five of Cups. In your destiny here you have the Devil. Behind you you have Judgment. And you also have the Ten of Cups. Coming towards you, you have the Page of Pentacles. You're represented here by the Chariot. And the environment around you is the Five of Wands. And your fears in here and hopes are the Nine of Wands. And it is the outcome is interesting. The King of Swords and then you have the King of Cups at the bottom for a clarifier. So I definitely feel like you're moving towards, um, you know, taking on your own personal power here. Um, and I definitely think that, wow, um, you know, you're going to be stepping away from some things. You have earth energy here, particularly Taurus. You have um, Capricorn. You have water, earth, air, and cancer, and fire. Okay, so you have all the elements plus cancer, Capricorn, and Taurus here. So you may have found out something about somebody or they found it out about you but there so for some of you this is work that there was some things going on there where um there was some dishonesty at work and it caused you some some pain because of money i mean there's been some changes there where they were planning on making some shifts and there's also, for some of you, it's pain because they're eliminating some people and you're going to have to absorb work for people and it's there's uncertainty here. Um, but this has been, I think, in the, the works in the while and you just weren't in the know. They just weren't being upfront and honest about it. Um, but that's coming out. So the High Priestess is the card of the psychic. So for those of you that have a gnawing intuition and you keep saying, no, no, that's not right. We do this all the time. We override our heart with our head. And really, in terms of attraction, your heart has even a more powerful frequency than your brain does. Um, really, we want to lead with that when we're trying to attract things that we want into our physical reality. So if that's you and you know you've been overruling your heart with your head, it's time for you to start listening to that and following that intuition. Um, so your destiny here is the devil. And... So in the destiny position, this is all about free will, okay? It's a path, but it's guided by free will. And some of you, I think, are breaking free of a very codependent, a tendency of codependent relationships. Some of you are indecisive, and you've picked some people that were very codependent and controlling. And so they were kind of capitalizing on that indecisiveness by being... Um, just I keep getting authoritarian and it may be for some of you it may be somebody that was I don't know why I'm getting this but like a principal at a school that you were involved with um, where they were an authority figure but it was like you got to the point where you you couldn't be indecisive because they would just decide for you and it was not a good situation so you're breaking free of that and you're gonna get into a lot more balanced stable relationship here um, I don't get the impression that you have any exes coming back, but I definitely think you have a new offer that's coming in. Um, so you had here the judgment card in the more distant past. And for some of you, I do think there was a decision to 
leave a relationship, like I said, that was very codependent in nature and where you were really losing your own autonomy um, and feeling very controlled. And I think when that happened, you've got this angel here, right? And these people rejoicing. I think you felt a great sense of freedom. You felt free to go do what you wanted to do, to go look at, you know, other relationships, maybe even getting yourself online and considering, you know, what else is out there. I think that was a lot of it. You wanted to know what else was out there. And you've enjoyed that freedom for a while here um, because you have it again here with the Ten of Cups. I think that work was going really well before the pandemic and the pandemic has infused it with some uncertainty here. But I think overall you were doing the things that you wanted to do. You were living how you wanted to live. You know, you were feeling good in terms of your body and your, you know, physicality, your nutrition, your health and kind of living on a more Spartan way, but it was so much more fulfilling than what you had going before that you may have had, um, like I said, you had somebody who was very controlling and there may have, it felt like there was more financial resources there, but once you stepped away, you realized you didn't need them anyway. So coming towards you, you have this page of pentacles and he's definitely bringing in an offer here. So I feel like you may, um, you may be meeting someone new, um, and I, I do think you're going to have some restructuring at work. So just to be clear about that, um, I don't think you're going to be losing your job, but I do think there's been some secretive kinds of things where maybe you're in management and you haven't even been included. It's been upper level people who are going to then kind of give you an edict, but there's still a commitment there. You're not losing your job or anything, but you've got a commitment coming. Um, and he comes with a little bit of luck too. So for some of you, um, it's definitely a time to be careful with money. So if you've been kind of frittering away money, like I said, I, I think your physical, um, you know, your, your physical presentation is much improved. But so for those of you that you've got multiple gym memberships, it might be time to go down to one. If you've got, you know, you've been taking some kind of lesson in something like a cooking class or even like a learning how to play a new instrument, you may decide that you are only going to go to that once a month and not go every week like you have been just to be more careful with money. But you're definitely moving ahead with the chariot here. It's interesting because you have, this is cancer energy, um, but you have the chariot and bracketed this with the knight, or excuse me, king of swords. So very strong energy about moving forward about, um, I think there is communication coming here. And again, um, you're, you know, this is about victory and success and achievement. So I do feel like at work, things are going to be tapered down a bit, but it's not going to hurt you. And in some cases, you know, I think initially it's, it's a change that is kind of unwelcome, but long term, it's not going to hurt you. In fact, you may find that you work more efficiently. Some things are going to be moving online and you're going to need to be able to go with that. But again, it's going to be more efficient where you almost have more time on your hands once you get into the flow of doing this. Um, you're definitely, you've got a lot of, like I said, changes around you. And I think this is more with work where there's all kinds of changes, restructuring, and it's going to move forward. And it's going to seem like in the blink of an eye, I'm getting for some of you, like by the time this year is over, you go, oh my God, what just happened? This is totally different. If you would have told me a year ago I'd be doing this, I would never have believed you. But it's coming for you. Um, and again, I do think you have, it's taking a bit of a toll. You know, he's the wounded warrior. And there's a part of you that's like, can't we just go back to how we were? But the answer to that is no, it's not going to happen. Some of you, this is a relationship where you're kind of saying that, can't we go back to that? And the answer to that is going to be no. Um, I think that if you bring back somebody, the two of you are going to have to be completely different. There's going to have to be much more balance and much more reciprocity. Um, you don't have, yeah, okay, um, you don't have the six of pentacles, but I, I feel like it's coming through for you. You need to, like I said, have more balance, more reciprocity and in order for that to work. But I do think overall here, you know, you've got a couple things going on here with these two together. Um, you know, with the, the King of Swords, this is all about communication. And it's very clear, you know, it's like knowing exactly what to do next. So don't be afraid to speak your mind if you have something to offer at work. It won't be, 
stolen from you. It'll be, um, you know, taken in and I think they'll follow what you do because this King of Swords is very, very smart. And it's somebody that can take in both sides of an argument and be able to be very impartial. It's like very rational kind of thinking. Um, he's just can make decisions that, um, are just very, he's very easy to make decisions and very, very blunt. So, um, I, it is kind of an impersonal cold energy, whereas the King of Cups is like completely different. Like he's very warm energy and I feel like this is more work. This is more love. Okay. So in your work life, it's time to be that King of Swords and you may have to let some people go. I think I've had this for you before actually. Um, where you're having to um, put people on layoffs and it's going to be tough. But, you know, again, you've got this clarifier here. And I, again, I feel like this goes, is somewhat connected to that page of pentacles and it has to do more with the love side of you. Where if you are interested in, you know, getting either some kind of an ex back or a new love coming in, it's definitely time to connect emotionally quiet your mind and really reach for that vibration of love because that's when you're going to get your mate. That's when you're going to get your match. So um, we'll give you a Louise Hay clarifier here. She's uh, uh, in that physical now, but she was a great law of attraction teacher. I nourish myself. Decide that today you will only eat, you will eat only food that loves you. And you know better than anyone what is best for you. So um, that's kind of interesting because we talked about nutrition a little bit, didn't we? So I love you so much, Pisces, and I will be back again in a week for your weekly tarot check.